Hey, what is up everyone? Eric for Mobile here. And today guys, I want to do a really quick video on a brand new program that was just released for Windows PCs. And it is by far the easiest way to unlock the bootloader, install a custom recovery, and root the new Moto X Pure Edition 2015. So in this video guys, I'm going to show you how to get that program and use it. It is, like I said, the easiest way to um, gain root on your phone, unlock your bootloader, and install a custom recovery. So let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so before we get started on the computer, there are a couple things you need to do on your phone first in order for this process to work. First of all, you're going to need to go into your settings and you're going to need to enable developer options uh, down here second from the bottom. If you don't know how to do that, simply click on about phone, scroll all the way to the bottom and on this build number, you're gonna need to um, rapidly push that like seven or eight times. I've already done it, but it'll come up after you've pushed it seven or eight times quickly and say congratulations, you're now a developer. Back out once and you'll have this new tab called developer options. Click into there and you're gonna to need to scroll down and the first thing you're going to want to enable is this option that says OEM unlock. You're going to want to do that and it says allow OEM unlock, warning, blah, blah, blah. Just click um, enable and after you've done that, you also need to enable USB debugging. This is so your computer can um, properly communicate with the phone. Once you have those two things um, enabled, um, you're pretty much done with your phone for the most part. You can set it aside and we'll jump over to the computer for the rest of this tutorial. Okay guys, so now that we have your phone ready to go, you're gonna jump over to your PC and um, there's a couple things you need to download. First of all, if you haven't already plugged your phone into your computer, go ahead and do that. And your computer should automatically download the USB drivers needed to um, let the phone communicate with the computer. If for any reason those USB drivers don't automatically start downloading, I have included a link in the description of the video of where you can get those drivers and manually download and install them. Um, once it's installed or once you've downloaded it, just open up the file. It'll um, go through and do a setup wizard, install the USB drivers, and you should be good to go from there. The next thing you're going to need to download is this tool right here. And this is what's going to be doing all of the work for you. It's called Windroid Universal Android Toolkit version 2.5. Um, go ahead, download that. Um, I just have it installed here to my desktop. And uh, once it's done, once it's done downloading, go ahead and open up the tool. And here is what it looks like here. The first time you open it up, it goes through and it downloads a couple things automatically. You're going to see a couple progress bars. Just let it do its thing. And then once it does finally open up, it's going to have you select um, from a list of manufacturers. So since we're doing the Moto X Pure, you're going to want to select Motorola. And then it's going to have you select the specific model. You want to come down here to style, in parentheses, the Pure Moto X. Go ahead and click on that. And then once it does that, it's going to go through and download the specific files you need in order to run the commands you know, for the um, recovery, the um, root process, and unlocking the bootloader. Once it has done that, you're gonna, it's gonna look like this. This is where you're going to be able to go through and execute the commands. Right now, it does say we're offline because your phone is not yet plugged into your computer. In order to do that, you need to boot your phone into fast boot mode. And if you don't know how to do that, um, I'll show you really quickly so that you can do it um, without any problems. Okay, so in order to boot your phone into the bootloader mode, what you're gonna to wanna to do is first of all, you're going to need to power off the device. So hold down the power key and select power off. Um, this is needed to boot into fast boot mode. So once your phone has completed booting off, um, we can move on to the next step. Okay, so with the phone completely turned off, what you're gonna to want to do is hold down the power key and the volume down key at the same time. And you only need to hold it for a few seconds, maybe three or four seconds, and you're gonna see the screen light up just like that. This is fast boot mode. Now, in order for your phone to be recognized by the program on the computer, you need to make sure that you use the volume keys to go up and down and it says it's on the mode which is labeled start. Um, if it's in any of these other modes, you just need to use the volume up and down keys to go up and get to the proper one, which is start. Do not press the power key. You want your phone to remain in this mode 
for the rest of the process of running the um, Microsoft tool. Okay, so now that your phone is in fast boot mode, you are um, ready to connect your phone to your computer. And if you were, um, if you installed your USB drivers correctly, then the program should be able to recognize your phone. So go ahead and plug your um, phone into your computer and go ahead and put that back over here to the side. Now, I do have a pretty finicky cable, so hopefully this works on the first try. But what you're going to want to do is once your phone is plugged in, you want to come down here and it says refresh. Go ahead and click that and it'll come through, detect your device. Um, it takes just a second, but then hopefully over here, it should say um, click over to fast boot. So this means that it recognizes your phone now and it recognizes that it is in fast boot mode. So now if you've done everything correctly, you are ready to begin the process of unlocking your bootloader flashing a custom recovery and gaining root. Now really quick, I should preface, preface this by saying that um, I unlocked my bootloader previously using a much more complicated manual method. This hadn't yet been released, so my bootloader was already unlocked when I did this. But um, once you are ready to unlock your bootloader, you should be able to come in here and just click get the unlock key and then it'll go through and do that automatically and then you click unlock bootloader and it will do it for you. The manual way is much more complicated, I won't even get into it. But once that's done, it will come up with a window that says you are ready to move on to step two. So um, there have been reports in um, some forums and stuff that this program crashes in between steps and you have to reopen it and then you can do the next step. I did experience that, so hopefully by the time you're seeing this they have that fixed. But if not, if you are successfully unlock your bootloader and the program crashes, just reopen it. It'll come back up to the window. Um, you sh it should just recognize your phone again and then you can move on to the next step, which is flash a custom recovery. In this case, it is Team Win Recovery Project, which is by far the best recovery that you want and the only one that this program will flash. You go ahead and click that. It just pops up with a progress bar that says flashing recovery. Um, it'll get to 100% and it'll say, you know, it, this process has been successful. You will have now have custom touch win recovery project on your phone. And then it'll come up with a dialog box that says you can now move on to step three, which is gaining root. So you, f you click on that. If the program crashes in between steps, go ahead, reopen it. And then you can click on step three, which is flash super SU. You click on that, it will boot into um, the recovery that you've just installed and there'll be a file called super SU on the root of your memory. You select that file and slide the toggle to flash it. Um, once it's done flashing, you would just click reboot from the recovery and your phone will reboot back to its home screen. After you've done all of this, it only takes a matter of like maybe two minutes total. You've unlocked your bootloader, flashed your recovery and gained root. And now we are ready to install custom ROMs on the Moto X, um, custom kernels, apps that require root, anything that requires root in a, in a custom recovery, um, this tool will give it to you and you will be ready to go. I'm sure right now developers are working on many different ROMs for the new Moto X, so definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. I will be doing reviews on ROMs and ones that I really like. But anyway, let's jump back over to the phone so I can show you that after running these processes um, that the, the phone will be successfully rooted. Okay guys, just to show you that after running the tool that you are rooted and do have a custom recovery, um, when you're done running the tool, just re it'll, um, I think it does it on its own, but you may have to manually reboot your phone. And then once your home screen pops up, you can download an app from the Play Store called Root Checker. And it basically does exactly what its title is. You just open the app, there it is right there. It's free on the Play Store. Go ahead and open that. And um, you just ag agree to the disclaimer or whatever that you're um, allowing this access to check your phone. Anyway, once you've done that here at the top, there is a tool to verify root status. Go ahead and click on verify root. It'll go through, super user will ask you to grant permission. You hit grant and there it is guys, you are successfully rooted. It says right there, congratulations, root access is properly dis installed on this device. And just so you see, the tool does install super user SU or super SU right there, which stands for super user. 
Um, so there you are, you are successfully rooted. And just to show you that we do have a working recovery, there is another free app on the Play Store called Quick Boot. Go ahead and download that from the Play Store and it gives you reboot options. We want to reboot into the recovery, which is the second one down. It just says recovery. Go ahead and click on that and it will reboot you into your custom Team Win Recovery Project bootloader. Um, as you can see right here, your phone will have display a warning screen saying that your bootloader is unlocked. So from now on, I'll show you once we get out of the recovery, but every time you restart your phone, it will come up with that splash screen saying that your bootloader is unlocked. It's not a big deal. I believe there's already a tool available to get rid of that. But anyway, guys, here you can see we do have custom recovery. So through here is where you'll be able to flash and install custom ROMs, kernels, apps, make backups, anything you want to do with root access. So guys, there you have it. Um, an unlock bootloader, custom recovery, and um, root access on the new Moto X 2015 Pure Edition. Um, if you like the video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Um, leave any comments in the um, you know down below on anything you want to see in the future. I'm hoping some ROMs become available soon that I can get some reviews up on. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate you checking out my video, and we'll see you on the next one.